Hey, look, another bad Disney cheapskate gra cash grab. <laughs> Fellow Mike Tubers, welcome back. Another movie review, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Do you know? I don't know. But welcome back to another movie review. Today I'll be reviewing Wrinkle in Time. Based off a novel, I really enjoyed the novel, by the way. I read it, yes. And this novel, movie is about a girl who loses. who. Girl's dad, played by Captain Kirk, goes fine, tries fine, or goes missing, and in time and space basically, and she wants to find him, and oh, bro, Winfrey, Godzilla sized, comes with other two people I don't remember, and comes along, and her friends come along because, and her brother. In this movie, this movie, oh my god, this is from a great director too, who sticks small budget films, which I really enjoyed, they're on Netflix right now, so go check them out, I think one of them's called Prison Skate, I don't know, but I don't remember, but I've seen, came across them, this movie, this movie, this movie gets a I'm kidding, gets an F. No, I'm kidding. it's not over yet. But anyway, over the special effects are amazing. Let's get that out of the way. Special effects are amazing. Opa Winfrey and the two witches are amazing actors again, and that's all I can say about this movie. It just wows me. This is one of the worst movies I've seen this year. Shut up, Fifty Shades. I'm not done with you yet. Or You know what I mean. Fifty Shades is still worst movie. But anyway. This is one of the worst movies I've seen this year. Because it is a letdown drag movie. You're like... Oh, come on, because the acting from the main kids aren't even that great. Special effects are really great. Oprah does great. Like, for example, there's this one scene where Godzilla-sized Oprah Winfrey comes out, and she the girl was like, Huh, I would be scared. Imagine this guy coming in my backyard and just looking... Bad example. Actually, that I wouldn't be scared of that at all because it's an Autobot. All right. Imagine this guy coming in my backyard, me looking up. I would be scared. I would be scared because this guy's in my backyard in a giant robot. It's basically the same scenario. Giant person in your backyard. I would be scared. You wouldn't be like, huh? No, 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 and the movie's like two hours, also makes it last longer, and very, very choppy, just very choppy, but it has some motion to it, it has a cliched storyline about family and all that, but it's from books, so I understand why, why, but very choppy, like, they you're like, what? Huh? How do we? What? Did they forget a scene? What? They forgot a scene. What? You're like that, basically. But overall, this movie is very choppy. Amazing CGI. Great performances from Captain Kirk and Oprah in the same film. And Stanley Chuchi's in this film, too. Uh, new Transformer? You didn't know. Stanley Chuchi. Merlin. Rawr.
Overall, this movie's choppy and all of that. So... I'm going to give Wrinkle in Time a D. Overall, guys, there, don't see this one. There's a lot better movies out this weekend, too. Game Night review very, coming very, very soon. And Love, Simon, which I did not catch, but I heard was really good. Really, really good. I'll probably catch it soon. Who knows? DD. Who knows? But overall, guys, that's all for this time. Punch out like fun and face like boss. See you guys in the next show. Bye bye.